All right, Spill here. Here's my thoughts on a win, and a pretty convincing win, 3-1 over the Seattle Kraken. Let's get into what the big story was. It was Samsonov. Samsonov coming back in, second game back after what could be defined as shooter tutor goaltending. Uh, I, obviously, the Leafs played well defensively in front of him, uh, 17 shots, but he had to make some big saves. I thought the third period the Leafs played fantastic, but then they get the one shot and it's a beauty chance. And Samsonov made a big save. He made a couple big saves, although if the guy could raise the puck, it would be in the net, but um, Samsonov played decently. So against Detroit, he was decent. Against Seattle, he was very good. The problem with him still is he's all over the bloody net. There's plenty of times when I'm watching the TV and I'm seeing the guy coming down the wing. And I'm like, oh man, you are. there's a lot of net there. So his angles seem a little bit off. Again, he wasn't as, you know, like a fish out of water in his net. He was actually in the net for the majority of the time. But I thought the Leafs played well defensively in front of him. Let's face facts, Seattle had a pretty, pretty, pretty banged up team um, that didn't have a lot of firepower. And the Leafs were able to have a lot of offensive zone time. There were a couple shifts where they were just ragging it around. And guess what? They actually listened and they said, well, maybe if we're tired, we change while we're in the offensive zone. And then you can carry on being in the offensive zone. What a novelty. Way to go, team. Uh, I also, a couple other stories. Uh, Giordano was given the, the, the seat and that was good. And he should not get back in. Uh, I'm going to get into Timmins, but... Uh, before we get into Tim's, what did Lagason do? I need to know. I don't see him on the injury report. Like, I've looked through the injury report on William Lagasse, and I don't see him being injured or hurt or, you know, working on an injury or whatever it might be. What did he do? Like, there's, there's got, I, I know he's got a horrible agent or whatever his agent, the, the agent that goes on Twitter and starts yipping and yapping. If I had an agent, uh, I would make sure they don't go on Twitter and start yipping and yapping. It's not good for you. Whatever his name, Alan, whatever. He's entertaining as hell, but hell, if I'm an NHL hockey player, that's the last person I want to have an agent. I want a person who, who, who shuts their mouth and does the job. So I got that part of it. But, but what did he do? Like, there's got to be something. There's got to be some investigative reporting on what William Lagason did to this organization. <laughs> like, I don't get... Did he piss off the players? Do the players not like him? Because why isn't he playing? Okay, I get he's a left shot versus a right shot, okay? you. But Giordano's a left shot. And let's face facts. Connor Timmins threw one of the worst cheap shots I've ever seen. It was bad. And then he gave the puck away... Well, the whole... Leafs defense do this on a regular basis, but he was particularly bad at making a really bad play. Now, thank God it was Seattle with a banged up lineup that couldn't put the puck in the net, but Jesus, like Lagason, what did you do? Whatever you did, apologize for it. Just just go in, apologize. Maybe change your agent. I don't know. Well, get him back in the lineup. See, the guy bangs. Again, we'll go into the Seattle's one goal. The only goal Seattle scored was because no one got dropped in front of the net. They got to pass it around it. Two feet from the net. Lagason, go apologize for what you did. I don't know what you did, but just apologize for it. Beg for forgiveness, and let's get you back in the lineup. Okay, buddy? Oh, man. Anyways, Timmins and Tanov, uh, that was bad. So what Timmins did to Tanov, I've got no problem with Tanov getting up and losing his ever-loving mind on that one because it was just a push at a really bad spot from behind into the boards. But I will say this. I love the way the Leafs responded to this. Benoit, and I'll give McCabe his due, they played that perfectly. Tanoff was, a, at that point, he's a, he, he's a bomb ready to go off. And the minute it happened, he got up, Benoit tackled him, said, enough of that, you ain't doing nothing. And then when Tanoff went through the hit against uh, Lilligren, again, good hit to me, clean hit. McCabe walked over and settled it. And I didn't hear, well, Tanoff was, was, was in the game, but he wasn't as, like, that was enough of him. So he knew he was going to get held accountable for the stuff he was about to do. Granted, I give Tanoff full marks. He should have been able to take out Timmons for that, that hit. But I like the way the Leafs responded. They protected Timmons. 
Benoit, McCabe. You don't usually hear this from McCabe for me. Well done. Good job. And then the Leafs get their first goal. Get them, and another story. Robertson in the lineup. Uh, McCann out. And putting Nyes back on the first line. Now, do I think... <laughs> Do I think Nyes is on the first? No, I don't think he's a first line player right now, but he made a really nice play down the boards to Marner, who made a beautiful pass. Now, I got to understand something on the Seattle defense. There's many times I question the Toronto defense. I question them. You know, I question them. How in the hell do you have the leading goal scorer in the NHL on pace for 70 goals? You leave him in front of the net by himself. That goal, Marner passed it in. There was no one around Matthews. And Matthews made a move that only Matthews can do, and it's in the net. And, you know, give Joey Decord credit. He didn't give up a lot there. Matthews still was able to put it in. He basically had a puck length, and he put it in the puck length. Or puck width, and he put it in the puck width. Just fantastic skill. But again, Seattle, how in the hell do you leave Austin Matthews in front of the net by himself? That would be strategy. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's what the Leafs do. You don't want to, like, whatever you scouting report, maybe you watch the Leafs for a couple of games. You don't do that stuff. So great goal. Then the power plays. I thought the power plays were messy. Again, I thought it, way too many passes. Like, I thought the Leafs were trying to set up other people. Don't, don't. Just shoot the puck. You're William Nylander. You're Austin Matthews. Shoot the damn puck. You get a spot and you're in a good quality spot. Shoot it. You got shots. Now, Matthews usually doesn't do the passing, but he was going for even the extra passes. Robertson was caught a couple times with the extra pass. You don't need it. Shoot the puck. So even the Leafs shots on that were only 26, but I, they could have had a, a ton more with the chances that they had. They just were trying for the beautiful play and not good. But anyways, after a power play, right after the power play, Bertuzzi to Domi, nice pass to Robertson in the net. Now, Robertson, four goals in six games. I'm, I'm looking at... Uh, Pontius uh, Omberg. I'm looking at Noah Gregor. I'm looking at uh, David Kampf. I'm looking at Max Domi. I'm looking at John Tavares. I'm looking at Todd Bertuzzi. I'm looking at Matthew Nyes. You know what they don't have? Four goals in six games. Matter of fact, Robertson is two goals behind Matthew Nyes, and Robertson hasn't even played half the games that Nyes has played. Keep Robertson in the lineup, please. I don't know what he did to you. He he certainly works hard. I would think maybe top line might be a spot for Robertson. Get him with the big boy. See if he can score. I don't know. That's something I haven't seen before. But leave, like Bobby McCann, he's got one goal in his whole career. Robertson scores, right? That's from my understanding. That's important. Now, granted, his defensive play has been 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 bad, and when he plays in stretches, he seems to to to, to fade out. Let it go. Whatever he did to you, Keith, let him in the lineup. Four goals in six games. Look down your lineup. How many people can say that? He's nearly like the sixth best scorer on the team right now. I mean, that's not good in terms of goals scored. Leave him in the lineup. But nice goal, and then of course the the goal that was on how do you blame Sands for now shoot in front of the net and friggin Jared McCann is in front of Riley and Brody's looking the wrong way I don't know what he's doing and they get to pass it to each other to Eberle and score how do you get to make a pass in front of the other team's net with two people on you from two feet both of them should have been laying on the ice but they're not because that's the least defense soft 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 and it's 2-1 and I'm like here we go Third period, Leafs were pretty much in the offensive zone for the entire period. It was a good third period. And then all of a sudden, scoring chance out of hell. I, I won't mention who was on the ice. JT. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Gee, every time. Second line, they, they were terrible. Nylander was a, was a disaster. Like, just, what are you doing? He's not trying. Uh, Bertuzzi was a bit of a pain in the butt tonight. Tavares just is Tavares. He's not very good. And every time that that second line or the third line went on the ice, I, I held my collective breath until they were off the ice. Um, I thought the first line took the puck, just went down in the other zone and just kept it there. The fourth line was really, really good with about four minutes left. They kept it in the zone, or sorry, three minutes left, two minutes left actually, because the, the Seattle couldn't pull their goalie. It was a great shift. And the Leafs went 3-1. So, what do you take away from it? Samsonov, fantastic. 
again, uh, do I crown him back in, in, in action? No, but way, like he's not letting, he had opportunities to let in soft goals. He did not let in one. And as a matter of fact, he made three or four 10 bell saves. So perfect. That's what you want. Like, let's just say I would have liked that against Vancouver. So Samsonov, very, very good. I loved Roberts in the lineup. I loved Giordano out of the lineup, although Lagesson's better than Timmins. And McCann out for, or sorry, Nyes on the top line. It worked. Now they play the Winnipeg Jets two times this week. They got a little bit of break. You get a little bit of break from my voice to Wednesday. And they play them Wednesday, Saturday in a back-and-back, back, which again is weird. They had a back-and-back back against San Jose and a back-and-back back against Winnipeg three days later. It's really, really weird. Anyways, there they go. They win. Positive. Smile on my face, I guess. I don't know. Cheers.